question three. Oh, I think this is quite difficult, really. So, Carl wants to book a full day session at the History Museum and Crown Court. So, full day History Museum and Crown Court is £10.50 per student. Now, um, we're taking 37 students. 37 students who go on the visit. So, they're going to be playing 37 lots of £10.50, which is £388.50. Now, we add on to that the cost of the coach, which is £350 per day, giving us a total cost um, for the trip of £738.50. Now, we're told that Carl will get an eighth of the school budget to help pay for the cost of the full-day session and coach hire. So, he, Carl's allowed to have an eighth of 500 from the college. Now, an eighth of 500, you do 500 divided by 8, to give you £62.50. So, um, Carl can get that back. So, the total cost for the students is going to be the £738.50 less the £62.50 he can get back from college. So, the actual contribution that all the students need to make to cover the cost of the trip is £676 in total. Now, Carl can spread that across the 37 students. 676 divided by 37 means he needs to charge each of the students £18.27 to cover the remaining total costs. So he needs to charge £18.27, but he thought he would only have to charge them £17. So he was wrong. Is, is Carl correct? No, he isn't. He needs to charge £18.27 per student. Now, Part B, we need to complete a time plan. So read through all this information here, and then I've processed it in the order of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So working backwards, we know we need to arrive back at college at 4 p.m. Now, given the coach to college allows, uh, you need 50 minutes, we need to leave at 3.10, because 3.10 add 50 minutes to takes you to 4 o'clock. So they're fixed. You've got to go for those blue answers. Now the next thing, we know we've got to arrive at the museum at 10 a.m. So I've gone back into the morning, so I've left a gap here. I need to arrive at the museum at 10 a.m. So that's a fact, fact number three. Now therefore, what time do we, does the coach need to leave school? Well, that's 40 minutes before 10 a.m., which is 9.20. So that's when the coach leaves the college. That's our fourth fact. Now we need to meet at the college 25 minutes before the coach leaves, so 25 minutes before 9.20 is 8.55. So those five facts in blue are fixed, there's no flexibility there whatsoever. Now I need to go and spread the time between 10 o'clock and 3.10 across the visits to the museum, the visits to the Crown Court and lunch for three quarters of an hour. So I've gone and said, let's for so I, and what I'm going to try and do is roughly spread the time equally between time at the museum and time at the court. Now I've got to leave at least one hour, but you know what? You don't have one hour and one, three hours in the other. That's too much. So I, I've elected for two hours at the museum in the morning. You may not have gone for two hours. You can go for something as long as it's greater than one hour. You'll be okay. But I think about two hours seems about right. So if we arrive at the museum at 10, I'm going to say let's book to have lunch at 12 o'clock. That would give us two hours in the museum, plenty of time. Okay, now, um, so we leave the museum at 12 o'clock, okay, um, and, and then we have lunch. So we come out of the museum at 10 o'clock, so I'm booking to have lunch at 12 o'clock. Lunch is three quarters of an hour, which is 45 minutes. So I'm saying lunch will finish at 12.45, which is then we walk, walk over to the court. Now the journey to court from lunch takes 15 minutes. So that would mean we arrive at court at 1 a.m. And that leaves me plenty of time to walk around the court. It gives me two hours, 10 minutes to walk around the court. So I think I've spread the time quite fairly between the museum and court. 
I think the mark scheme suggests um, as an example to two hours five minutes in each so perhaps that would be even better because you exactly spread the time equally but anything will do um, in these red numbers provided you're leaving at least one hour in the museum and the court because that's what we're told to do at least one hour but those five facts there in blue are fixed you must have those but there is flexibility in those red answers